Hi, this is David and Jared from Better Holsters, and today we're going to talk about our Cobra belt. So stay tuned. I came from the mud, desert on my hands, strong like a tree. All right, so first thing we're going to talk about is the belt buckle itself. Jared's going to share all this information with us because he's, you know. Yeah, the Cobra buckle that we use is uh, it's the Austria Alpine original Cobra buckle design, but we use the step down version. So what that is, it's going to be an inch and a half belt buckle, and the glory of that is you can thread it through almost every single belt loop. A lot of times with the larger Cobra belts and Cobra buckles, it can kind of get tedious when you're trying to adjust the sizing and put it on and off, especially if you know you wake up late for work, you got to throw on your gun belt. This, it's going to breeze right through your belt loops and easy on and off. Yeah. It's nice. All right, so next up, we're going to be talking about the operation of the Cobra buckle. So um, I'm going to talk about the very simple operation because that's really all I know. But Jerry has a little bit more details on how the whole thing works and the, all that stuff. So I'll let him talk about the details. But first up, what I need to know on how to operate it is there's these two levers, top and bottom. If you push those two little levers in, the buckle comes undone. Real simple. You want to put it on and just push the pieces together, put the male part and the female part, and it locks right in. And if you want to take it apart, it doesn't come apart until you push these two levers down. It's locked in, it's, it's good to go. Um, and that's, that's, that's really the simple operation of it. What, what do you got? I mean, they kept it pretty simple. They use, it's, I think they call it their stab lock design, and basically what that allows is it allows you to one hand take it on and off. Very easy to go in, but once it goes in, it's not coming out unless you press those two tabs down at the same exact time. I've heard some real crazy statistics on like how much weight it can hold or that. Do you have any? Off the top of my head, no. I've definitely heard numbers thrown around of 3,000 pound plus ratings. So yeah, it's pretty pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, not that I would ever need it, but I think no. people, a lot of people they're going like uh, repelling or something like that. That's yeah. That's they're they're very about. commonly used on like rigging belts and things like that. So they can definitely hold their own. Yeah, it's great. So a big question we get a lot is: Is the Cobra belt adjustable? It is very adjustable um, using Velcro on the outside. You get this nice, you don't have to worry about little notches on a belt every inch or so. You get a nice adjustable belt. And the best thing about it is once you set it, you forget it. Unless for some reason you put on a bigger gun or you eat a really big meal and you want to adjust your belt. Once you set it with that Velcro, it stays that way. So every time you put it on and take it off, it's going to be exactly where you want it to be. Yeah, I really like the micro adjustability of the Velcro. Uh, these belts, we cut, they come in different sizes, like large, medium, small, and you get about three or four inches of play on the uh, actual Velcro sizing, and you can get all the way down to like the centimeter. All right, so we've talked a good amount about the buckle, but uh, the largest portion of the belt is the belt itself. Yeah. So um, it's very sturdy. And very rigid. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I mean, we use extremely stiff double stitch nylon webbing to create the belt itself, which means, I mean, this thing is solid. It's going to carry your gun, your extra magazines, your IFAC, your Ford Fiesta if you wanted to. <laughs> it will carry everything. It will. You can pull a Ford Fiesta with this thing. Yeah, it's great. And uh, it, it'll hold any, anything you need. That's the reason you have a gun belt, is to make sure that uh, you can comfortably hold all of your EDC that you need to hold. Comfortably too, especially with the step down buckle. You don't have this big burly buckle digging into you or anything like that. Low profile, so appendix carry isn't a problem. So, I mean, it's just all around solid gun belt. Right, without too much rigidity to where it just kind of makes it weird. Yeah. yeah. It's great. So overall, this is a belt that I wish I was issued when I was in the military. Uh, the belt I had, we kept sagging all the time. I always had to adjust it. It would always come loose at while I'm while I'm carrying stuff, and I just had to keep tightening it. It was just not anything like this belt. If I had this belt while I was in, uh, life would have been a lot different. I tell you. So I, I, I'm a fan of this belt. Yeah, I'm I'm a huge fan of this belt as well. It, it carries everything that I want comfortably, and I have absolutely no problem taking it on and off. It fits every one of my belt loops on my pants. I love it. All right, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about this belt, in the pinned comment there is a uh, link that you can go look at our article that we posted not too long ago and you can get a little bit more details. Uh, also, we'd love to hear whether or not you're going to be getting this belt or if you already have it, if you like it. Or, um, just leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.